We've been following this issue with the uh, dam in northeastern Colombia that is set at some point in the future to fail and cause massive epic destruction, but there's also another issue going on now. It's in the southwestern part of Colombia, almost all the way down on the border with Ecuador, and it's near this little town called Pasto. There's a volcano called the Galeras Volcano, and it has been incredibly active over the years. It's had some huge explosions and killed people. In fact, there was an entire research team that got killed down there in 93. Well, very recently, this morning in fact, there was a couple of very, very nasty earthquakes in the region that have killed two people so far. And given everything else that we've seen, I wouldn't be surprised if this were the next big volcano to hit Latin America. I don't think what we're seeing now is any kind of uh, just one-off issue with Kilauea and then Fuego in Nicaragua. Now we're seeing Galeras uh, start to shake and earthquakes on the mountainside. Um, if anybody wants to know where to find this, of course, the real news can actually be found at Telesur. Two dead after double earthquake at Galeras Volcano in Colombia. Um, pardon some of the translations here, it's not exact. Uh, tremors recorded after 4 in the morning and one between one and the other there was an interval of one minute. So, pardon, like I said, pardon the translation. Uh, two people killed by landslide and several affected houses left a double quake recorded during the early hours of Tuesday near Galeras Volcano, Nariño Department, southwestern Colombia. Now, these aren't very big quakes, but it's where they're at that's the is the problem. They're only 4.5 and 4.3, and anybody who knows anything about that knows those aren't giant tumblers, but apparently these people were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, the president of Colombia has himself even reached out to uh, those who have been affected by this tragedy, but of course we're not hearing anything about it in the main mainstream media here in America. Major volcano has two giant earthquakes, and nobody reports of it here. It's just a sad, sad state of affairs. But there's been rock slides and landslides and I don't know if you can see the picture of this rock I'm trying to bring up here, but it's enormous rock blocking the blocking the highway. Now, strangely enough, as if this wasn't uh, bad enough, this while I'm showing you this video of it exploding back in 2008. Pasto, Colombia is a hotbed of extraterrestrial activity, especially around these volcanoes. Um, I'm sure Tyler, guy, Secure Team 10 guy, he could tell you all about this because there has been video after video uh, come out of Latin America, and especially in this particular area, of these little white dot light looking things that show up after these major events that no one can explain. And so with these two earthquakes, I think we might have gotten maybe a heads up that if this thing starts to explode, that we should probably, if we can at all, um, alert folks to keep an eye on this region and to be watching it at all times so that if there were any of these little white lights that would show up or we could see them literally um, be waiting for them, so to speak. So it's very rare that we get that opportunity. Sometimes it's just folks that look up in the sky and there it is and you know, they may get a minute of footage, they may get an hour, you never know. But this is a no-joke um, volcano. It's one of the biggest, excuse me, and most active in South America. It's exploded in 36 and in 45. The 93 one was where all of the scientists were killed. In fact, there was a book written about it. And it's uh, the side of the mountain. If we go back to Google Earth here and look at it and zoom in... Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, if you zoom in close, you can see that the entire side has been uh, blown out. And back during a prehistoric, I think the Paleolithic, does that sound right? Era, this all blew. You can see the rim of this thing. And if this thing would let go, it would be, uh, I mean, it wouldn't be Yellowstone level, but it'd be a monster. That's for sure. Because you can clearly see the outline of how big this caldera would be. Of course, this is just like the little pimple top, I guess, that goes off every now and then now, but you can see where the actual uh, lava bed is all the way around here. 
So just wanted to keep you guys updated. updated. This is uh, We're seeing these happen now more often, more frequent, and something's coming. I don't know what it is. I'm just getting this weird feeling when you see this many volcanoes go off in so many, in such a short amount of time and some very suspicious activity earlier I covered this missile that just got launched off Washington and no acknowledgement from our government as to what it was for or why um, I'm just getting this really kind of sinking feeling and I don't uh, don't want to alarm anybody but I try not to get uh, overly worried about things because they come and they go but Category 4 hurricane, also off the Baja of Mexico. And it just seems like it's all coming at once now. And a lot of prophecies about June of 2018 out there as well. But a lot of prophecies about a lot of things, so I guess we're not going to lose our head over it. But um, once again, earthquake, two big ones, right over a volcano in Colombia. Um after everything we've seen with Fuego and the current state of affairs up in northeastern Colombia around the dam, this is definitely not good news. So we will leave it there. Um, just wanted to keep you guys updated on this information. If we get anything new or warrants, we will come back. But uh, thank you so much. We're having a great discussion over at the Patreon channel. Just put up a video talking about advanced uh, survival techniques, psychological techniques to deal with extended amounts of time um, in a bunker, so to speak. Um, the bunker mentality has been something that has been the death of more survivalist movements than anything else. So we'd love to have you over there. If you have the ability to, please come join us. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.